Welcome back to another episode of the Youth Academy RTG. We will push up to the end of the calendar year today, just into the beginning of the January transfer window. We'll also get ourselves past the halfway stage of the Premier League season with the three games we have in that competition today, as well as an important Carabao Cup game against Manchester City as well. Uh, Manchester City we have in the League 2, and they're actually not having a great season. Down in sixth at the moment, a full 12 points off the top of the table, having lost, to be fair, only three games so far this year, but they're drawing too many, and hopefully we will get the better of them today. We start with Everton, and we'll simulate that. We have Chelsea uh, in the league, away from home at the weekend, and then that Carabao Cup, I believe, quarter-final against Manchester City, and then the home game against them again. Uh, this time in the league in a different competition. Thank you for your continued support as the content has returned to you after my break. And hopefully, bing, we can get ourselves a decent result in this first game against Everton to justify your continued support of the remainder of this save. Do drop the video a like. I'd very much appreciate it. And of course, if you're not subscribed, as about 30% of you that watch these videos aren't, then do hit that subscribe button and turn the notifications on and you won't miss another video. Leo de Silva's already given us a 1-0 lead here against Everton. If that doesn't deserve your subscription, I don't know what else will. Go on, you're in. Saliovic! Is that it again? Goal 18 of 17 fixtures in the Premier League so far. He's coming for you, Erling. As long as he plays every game this season and doesn't get injured, he's going to have that record at the rate he's going at the moment. He might even be on for 40 goals in 38 games played. 2-1. Maren Bawadu has pulled one back for Everton. He's also got a yellow card, so he's going to have to be careful for the rest of the game. But they're not out of it yet, the Toffees. Still plenty of time for more goals to go in. I think he's offside. He's not. Goals have gone in. Tell... Makes it 2-2 and two goals in quick succession here for Everton. Have brought them right back in the game now. They are level and, well... Oh, I was worried for a moment. They were going to get a penalty and it might even be 3-2 to them. Go on, go on. Oh, layout! Screamer, 85th minute, top left-hand corner. Despite Everton's fight back. The quality has shown through here, in particular from Leal de Silva. We have ourselves the advantage once more and possession back with just two minutes added on. He's just skipped past another challenge there and we may even yet make it four. If it weren't for a top stop by Rossi in goal, we would have. Salihovic probably could have taken that a pace or two further. We're in the box again and we don't have another goal, but we don't need one, thankfully. Two goals in seven minutes. Threw that game into chaos in the second half, but Leal de Silva popped up with a belter. But I think that just said Liverpool drew as well. Sorry, won as well. So they're still only a single point behind us. Selahovic with a goal. Three more for the team. And next is fourth place Chelsea away. Chelsea have Diogo Costa in goal. Reese James, Simakan, Laporte, and Tino Livramento. Hakan Jananolu, Manuel Ugarte in the midfield for them. Dembele, Baldanzi, Barnes, Cutter at 93. And Enrique Araujo starts up top ahead of a tired Lautaro Martinez. Chelsea not quite at full strength. Uh, neither are we, though. We've got a change in Emilio Bauman starts in the midfield today. But other than that, we're as strong as we probably could be, barring a little bit of fatigue. But... I want to make sure that my best players are out for an important game like this in the Premier League, especially with Liverpool breathing down my neck. We cannot afford to drop any points, so hopefully we won't. Oh, it's a lovely ball by Dembele to Araujo, who's got the angle. Oh, and it's squeezed through Ruben Richardson at his near post. Gets a hand to it and a foot to it as well, I think. But at Stamford Bridge, we are behind after just a few moments. We took a strong early lead against Everton, but this time it's the Blues that go in front. Rides that challenge. Might actually find himself getting a yellow card for that, Mr. Cutter. Leal's in a good position here, but can I pull it back maybe to a teammate? Yes, we can. Oh, and he's beaten the keeper, but I merit Laporte's there. Fleming on the swivel volley. That was 1-1 just waiting to happen. 
Sing and one man went to mow in the uh, stands here at Chelsea, but we're not trying to mow the meadow. We're trying to set the meadow ablaze with a second half performance here that could see us get back into the game and hopefully take the lead as well. Lenny Stevens fighting hard in the midfield to try and ensure that we do get the opportunity to equalise and maybe take the lead as well. At the minute, I can't even have a shot against Chelsea, let alone stand a chance of scoring a goal. Reese James down the right again for them. I feel like they've barely used Chilwell on the left-hand side at all in this game so far. Romero will go for a switch here. Fine layout of Silva. It's a lovely first touch. And then he's just going to leave. It's actually Tino Livramento, not Chilwell at left-back, actually. Well, layout has gone all the way. Oh, oh, what have I got to do? Score! Fleming was back there, but... It opened up so nicely for Leal. I thought I'd just try and turn it home. Now they're bringing Lautaro Martinez on off the bench. Oh, and they're making another change as well, are they? Yep. Yeah. Araujo is going off too. So presumably that means Lautaro is going to go up top. Oh no, and the series come on. So maybe a formation change for Chelsea. Either that, they're playing Lautaro wide. Leal de Silva looking to bend it in the bottom corner. Diogo Costa does well to stop him. Okay. Well, now it's our turn to press and look likely of scoring a goal. Oh, for a second time, the ball beats the keeper and is on its way into the back of the net if it weren't for a last card interception from a defender. Tino Livramento, the man on the line this time. I'm Eric Laporte, the man in the way in the first half. And we just cannot seem to get this goal to equalise. But maybe now, this time we will look for the ball inside. And here's Tom Edwards. And there is that goal that we've been searching for. At last it arrives. We are level at the bridge and there's definitely time to win it yet. Well, not that great a position, actually. Salahovic will lay this off. I might send him to slide tackle to try and win that bat and keep possession. Fleming inside. Here's Romero. And still Romero. And Fleming. Salihovic. Salihovic. Oh! It won't go in. It just won't go in. Oh, very, very fortunate to have gotten the one goal we have so far. Francisco's up. Oh, but that's drifting wide as well. I tell you what, Leal de Silva will be up to full speed relatively quickly. There you go. Get off me. Uh, I need support, please. Support has arrived, though. And Tino's in the way again. He stopped us from scoring with a header from a corner by blocking the ball on the line on the near post, or at the near post. Now he's in the way again to deny Salihovic. This is end to end now with barely any time left in the fixture. Mm, Francisco's done just enough to outmuscle the man, send him to ground and keep the scoreline as is. I don't want it to stay as is though. I want us to get another goal, but is it going to happen? Are we going to get a late winner here? Edwards is in. Tommy! Yes! At the double! Tommy Edwards with a brace. To win us the game at Stamford Bridge in quite dramatic fashion, Captain Fantastic does the deed. We will win. We will stay top of the league. Oh, last kick of the game. You love to see it. Sorry, Chelsea. We've stolen all the points at Stamford Bridge. I'm going to apologise to, well, Graham Potter. That will be um, Russia Pochettino next year, won't it? Back in the game. Back in management. And hopefully, for Chelsea's point of view, then back challenging for trophies again. We will start FC24 with a Chelsea save. I haven't yet decided whether I'll do it with a creative manager or whether I'll take over as Mauricio Pochettino and try and win the league and win everything with him at the helm with Chelsea. At the minute, we're trying to win everything at the helm here with AFC Chesnoid. And, well... If we can get a win against Manchester City next, we are a step closer to doing so in the Carabao Cup. Curious to know who we've got in the Champions League. Oh, Dortmund. Tough, but winnable for sure. So is this next one. It's pressing El Kempembe for Manchester City. Uh, Ruben Bloody Diaz, as well as Tommy Asu. Ignacio Gutierrez is their goalkeeper, however. There is no sign of Edison. I don't know if he's retired. Or if he's moved on, I shall have to have a look for him uh, in the database once we exit the game. But he's not in Manchester City squad anymore, that's for sure. Foden, Haaland and Doku, the front three. Dawson Minton, a Patreon player in the midfield for Manchester City. 
alongside a couple of other very, very high-rated players. So you've got a very good team, but so do we. And we both would very much like to add this trophy to our collection. That said, uh, we don't have the Carabao Cup in our collection at all. And City have got about a 1,000 from the past uh, few years in real life. This has always, of late, been their competition, hasn't it? They just keep on winning the Carabao Cup, Manchester City. Well, it's our turn to try and put a stop to it. Oh, it's perfect to Haaland. Keep on his right. Ah, oh, no. Oh, off the bar. Win that, please. Navarrete, win that, please. Oh, he had a swing at it. Big Erling. Well, we've built this battle for Premier League top goal scorer between Erling and Sally Hovitz. Now they come head to head, not in the Premier League, although later in the episode they'll come head to head in the Premier League. But we'll see who comes out on top in this fixture. So far, they've actually got a man down and has stayed down there, Manchester City. Navarrete's actually making a great run here and then has balls that up entirely whilst looking for Leal de Silva. It's not Erling. I'm not sure who it is at the moment. It might be Doku, is it? No, it's not Doku on that far side. I've no idea who it is, but he's still down and he's not getting up and the referee needs to do something about this because, well, he's clearly in quite some discomfort over there. Tomiyasu into Erling. Oh, it's just opened up for him. 1-0 Manchester City. The defence parted. And despite having a man on the floor for the past 10 in-game minutes, they now have the lead. Stevens forward to Salihovic. Around the corner. Need to get back in this. We're trying to win every competition this year. And we might. We just might. Alex Fleming with what I believe is his 10th goal in all competitions this season. And he's got more than that in assists as well. Gives us an equalising goal here at home against City in the Carabao Cup. They might have won it eight times in the past... Or six times in the last eight years or eight, six times in the last ten total. But hopefully they're not going to win it now. I love that. Thank... Oh, the footwork's so good. Oh, please be onside. He was. Oh, I was sure he was off. Sally Ovid! I was so certain he was at least a foot off. Are we using the IRL new offside rules in this season here in this save? If you didn't know, the offside rule is changing for the upcoming season. There now has to be clear daylight between the two players for it to be called as offside to give the attackers a bit more of an incentive. And, well, I'm, I'm sure he was off. I'm so sorry he was off when the ball was played. Oh, it's the trailing leg. It's the trailing leg of the man in the middle that just plays him on. And it is just. Salihovic has a goal to match Erling Haaland, but we as a team have two. Plymouth beating Arsenal at half-time. That's a turn up. Imagine if Plymouth get to the Carabao Cup semi-finals at the expense of Arsenal. That'd be huge. Which oh, I've only just noticed as well. Look, December 25th, we're playing the EFL Cup semi a quarter final on Christmas Day. Great scheduling game. Well done, lads. <laughs> Phil Foden getting the better of Navarrete down the wing. Navarrete just got the legs to close him down and get back to him. But Foden has got the quickness of feet to get away once more. And, and somehow he's kept that in as well. No! Oh! <laughs> How's that not ended up in the back of the net? Erling Haaland with the driven effort into the floor that actually bent towards goal and then span away from it. Richardson at full stretch and not far wide at all. Kimmich, brilliant ball. Foden's in. Navarrete nowhere to be seen. Oh! What a goal! Are now Martinez, the right back, brought on at centre moved, moved to right wing back, driving forward in a cam position with a flying diving header on the end of Phil Foden's driven, beautiful cross. You won't see a better goal than that for a while. That was sensational from Manchester City. And they are level in this tie and couldn't have done it in better fashion. And Tommy Edwards needs to remember the football. If he does... Then we might score a goal to win us the tie. We just beat Chelsea in the last minute. Can we do the same to Manchester City? Maybe. 
Maybe we can lose to Manchester City in the last minute as well. Erling, he's going to get away. I'm not going to be able to deal with the pace. I just need to deal with what he does with the ball next. Oh, that wasn't convincing at all, Ruben, was it, pal? But thankfully, no goal for Manchester City. It was last min against Chelsea. It could be last min against City too. Nacho Salinas is the man through the gap. The fresh legs trying to do the business here. Nacho's in. Nacho! 93rd minute. We beat Chelsea with the last kick of the game. We beat City with the last kick of the game. Carabao Cup semi-finals await. Wow. We're leaving things late today, aren't we? And we don't care at all. Two goals in two Carabao Cup games. And there are two games that stand between us and a Carabao Cup final. But who will those two games be against? Will it be against Plymouth? 1-0 up at half-time against Arsenal. Were they able to see it through? No. I'm sorry, Pie Face Arsenal have done it in the second half and turned it round. It will be ourselves, Arsenal, and then two of Newcastle, Fulham, Palace and Liverpool in the semi-finals of the Carabao Cup in the month of January upcoming. With Manchester City again next as they'll look to try and get revenge in the league. Patrick Guy is on his way back from injury but isn't fit yet. It does take a little while. Uh, once you get that email from it's actually to become ready and available. And let's see, has Edison actually retired? No, Edison at 36 has just been let go? 89 rated Edison, free agent. City, what are you doing? They got their best goalkeeper now is 80 or 81 rated. They let an 89 rated Edison go and didn't replace him. No wonder you are where you are in the league, lads. Bloody hell. I'm trying to ensure that they stay there too. Let's go and beat them again. Manchester City in the league. Stefano Turati in goal for them this time. Antonio Silva in the back line alongside Ruben Diaz. Kimmich, Rodri and Minton this time. And Kulosevsky starts on the right ahead of Jeremy jo <laughs> Jeremy Doku. Uh, Arnel Martinez, diving header hero. Only on the bench once more, unfortunately for him. Playing in our regular home kit now, back in the Premier League. And looking to, hopefully, get a similar end result, but with less nail-biting in the process. Just a leer or roll. Come on. Come on. Oh, training ground staff. Alex Salah! We lead by a goal to nil against Manchester City in the Premier League. The champions are in front again. Training ground move. Tick. Liverpool, Liverpool losing. At home in the Merseyside derby. Everton, the side that very nearly caused a bit of an upset against us earlier in the episode. Now might be doing us a favour. They very nearly helped City rivals Liverpool take the top of the table spot again. Now, if everything stays as is, they might be taking top of the uh, table spot even further away from Liverpool. If we can win here and Everton can at least hold on for a point against Liverpool, then we will be a full three points clear or even four points clear if they can hold on for the victory of Liverpool come the end of the day. And it looks more and more likely like we'll be doing our part in that battle. Salihovic versus Erling Haaland today. And so far, it's our big Bosnian that's coming out on top. Fleming, Lenny again. Forward to Edwards. Lift. Bring down. Smash. He's something special, this boy. Really genuinely special. We thought it was a battle between he and Erling. It's not. It's a slaughter. It's one-sided. More than you could ever possibly imagine. Salihovic extends our lead to three. And this Manchester City side are nothing without Edison in between the sticks. Goes to show it doesn't matter how good your outfield is. If you don't have that quality in goal, you're going to come unstuck. You're not going to win anything. Fleming. 
That's to Romero and Fleming again. Salahovic making the moves in the middle. Little loft. It's not going to get anywhere. Oh, near it, or is it? Well, they nearly gifted us a fourth, Manchester City. They are really not at it today. Slow day at the office, not just for Phil Foden. The whole bloody 11, they are off the boil today. And off the boil this season, down in sixth, as we saw earlier. And beating them here, I'm not sure how they've done previously throughout the episode in the Premier League with the two prior match days, but well, they're not going to be any higher than sixth, that's for sure, come the end of today's episode, because we are giving them a hiding here. And even though they've got such fantastic quality in almost every possible position, they just can't do it. Lovely ball by Erling out to Phil Foden. City looking for a consolation goal. They might get it. They also might not. Got the Icelandic thunderclap ringing out around Patreon Park. And, well, it has been a bit of a perfect storm for us going forward and for Manchester City at the back. It's been a nightmare. Edwards will get this out wide and we could maybe add another. I have got substitutions waiting to be made, but it doesn't look like they're actually going to make it onto the field of play. Fleming will dart back onto his left and look to bend it. It's a good effort. It's a good save. Tarati makes the stop. Now those changes will go through. Although there's only seconds left for match lead to make an impact. Moraes very nearly had that impact by winning that header. But unfortunately, no fourth for us. We've built this whole season, really, as Salahovic versus Erling Haaland as a, as a battle. But as we said earlier, it's just not been a battle, has it? I don't know how many goals Erling has this season. We'll check the, the top goal scoring charts. With seven chances apiece in the Carabao Cup game and saw five goals. Liverpool did equalise against Everton, but they do still drop points. So that gap at the top of the table would extend to three, which it certainly has done. And Liverpool are a full nine points clear, even City, uh, United in third, sorry. 15 points now the gap to Manchester City. They are up to fifth, but still certainly not doing very well this season. Let's have a look at the player stats. Erling's just not at it this year, is he? Eight goals in 13 games. To be fair, he's only played 13, not 19. So if he had played 19, he'd certainly be in double digits. But he's not going to have the 20 that Salahovic has in 19 games so far this season. Wilfred Nonto with 14 and 19 for Man United is very, very good indeed. Speaking of Manchester United, that's who we have in the first uh, game of the next episode. With Arsenal in the semi-finals of the Carabao Cup. So we would have ended up with Plymouth that they've beaten them. And Derby in the FA Cup as well. Okay. I don't know if there's anything I want to do in the January transfer window. At this moment in time, I've got about 70 odd million pounds to spend. Not really anyone that I'd want to spend it on. We've got Gonzalez, who's still a free agent, but we're not signing free agents in this save. Uh, Becker, who's a centimeter 85 rated, I could consider signing. But Patrick Guy's back now, so it's not too much of a priority. And Isaac Morris is um, out of my price range, to say the least, at the moment. I've not really got anyone else on my shortlist that I'd be interested in signing. Uh, I don't know as there is a position that we're lacking at the moment. We're just really good everywhere. So, well, let's continue in that vein. If you guys think there is a position in this side or in this squad that needs some development, then do let me know. I... I'm aware that we have not much depth, not much depth in some areas, but of course Salah is the wide area go-to. So Cisse drops out of the bench when Patrick Guy is fit, and ultimately Cooper is perfectly good enough, and Little is solid, and everywhere else we covered. Walter's not amazing at Cam, but I can throw Salah in there. I can throw De Silva in there. I can throw Salah Nass in there. Like we've got, we've got the cover. And if we need someone, anyone in a forward four position, then I'm just going to recall Ethan Martin from FC Bayern München and he'll come back and he looks phenomenal now. So I've got that option there as well. I genuinely don't think there's anything I can do in January that would be worth doing other than winning all the bloody games. That's what we'll try and do. Do join me for the next episode. I shall see you tomorrow. Thank you for your support today. Drop the video a thumbs up, I'd appreciate it, and I'll see you in the next one tomorrow. Ta-ta.